Welcome inside this edition of Buck Update Central, the weekly ETSU Athletics Highlight Show, and I'm Parker Schwartz. Well, we're down to two sports, men's and women's basketball. And while you are stuffing your face with turkey, mashed potatoes, and watching the Cowboys win, these teams were hard at work. The women's team had three games, starting with Appalachian State last Wednesday, and the men went up to the Great Plains of South Dakota for the Pentagon Showcase. A big weekend for ETSU men's basketball. A full slate of three games at the Sanford Pentagon. Good start against Milwaukee. The Bucks won 86-62 with help from an A.J. Merriweather slam off a runout. He was 5 of 8 shooting with 13 points. Five Bucks were in double figures as ETSU held the Panthers to just 18% shooting from the floor in the second half. The Bucks outscored Milwaukee also in that second stanza 45-24. Devon Tavius Payne with the finishing touches as the Bucks looked forward to day number two where they played the de facto home team, South Dakota State. Devon Tavius Payne with an early three as the Bucks grabbed the lead. In fact, the Bucks led by 11 points at the break. Second half, a bit more eventful, but the game never in doubt. TJ Cromer had 22 points and Isaac Banks inside, 11 points on the day. The Bucks able to eloquently take down a team that won the Summit League last season. Essentially a road game as the Blue and Gold moved to 2-0 in the showcase. Looking to complete a perfect weekend, the Bucks and Ant Eaters of UC Irvine. ETSU establishing their inside game at the outset against a sizable UC Irvine squad. Later, TJ Cromer finishing nicely off a turnover. Talk about good finishes. Hunter Mascara Perea throwing the hammer down and the Bucks able to fend off the Anteaters after trailing at halftime. Another nice day from TJ Cromer, 15 points. He was named the Showcase MVP. DeSante Branford on the all-tournament team as the Bucks finish the weekend three for three. So three wins for the men's team over quality opponents. Congratulations as they turn their attention forward to a Thursday game against Lees McRae. Next, the women's team some tough tests, and it started with Appalachian State last Wednesday at Brooks. The ETSU women on the hardwood against Appalachian State. The Bucks down nine early until Carly Litton closed the gap with a three-pointer. The Bucks still trailing within seven when Shamaria Bridges converted the mid-range shot, and later a tray ball that got the Bucks within a basket of the Mountaineer lead. Before the half, the Bucks captured just their second advantage of the game thanks to Tiana Tarter. Tartar led the Bucks on the night with 19 points. Out of the gate in the second half, Yamil Rodriguez bangs in a jumper. The Bucks led by as many as eight. Neck and neck, though, in the final seconds we go. And with the Bucks down three, here's how it ended. Bucks on the road Saturday at Northern Kentucky. After the loss to Appalachian State, the Bucks on the road Saturday at Northern Kentucky. After a poor start, the Bucks able to get some big shots from Shamaria Bridges. She had six three-pointers on the day, and this amazing heave before time expired. The Bucks in a close game down to the wire. Anaje Stepney got the Bucks within three under a minute remaining. Bridges with a final attempt to win the game, but the Norse walk away with the 62-56 win. Trying to snap a two-game losing skid, ETSU and Murray State at Brooks. Racers a quick-paced shoot -em up team. Bucks able to hang with them the entire way. Raven Dean a career-high 24 points and 13 boards. An outstanding performance for the sophomore forward. Dean the first Buccaneer in nearly a year to have 10 or more field goals. Also a fine evening for Tiana Tarter, the Johnson City native, 22 points and 13 rebounds likes Dean. Her fourth double-double of the season. And for the first time since March 2014, the Bucks get two players with double doubles, the final 79 to 60. ETSU storms fast. Murray State. Well, if you like hoops, now's the time to turn into Buck Update Central. We'll have more basketball for you next week. For our entire crew, I've been Parker Schwartz, and this has been Buck Update Central.